Packs Pack here dot com where we open some cards. Woo! All right, I've got another 2018 Topps Gypsy Queen box to break. I know the last time I posted last week with the blaster box, I said I, this might be the only box that I get. While well, I was at my local hobby shop today, uh, he had a few more boxes of Gypsy Queen on the shelf. I decided to use up a little of the store credit um, that I had built up and decided to go ahead and pick up a hobby box this time of 2018 Gypsy Queen. Um, this this uh, hobby box is supposed to have at least two autos um, per box, or they guarantee two autos per box. Um, this is actually the first hobby box of Gypsy Queen I've ever broken um, since I've been a collector. When I, when I was first collecting as a kid, obviously Gypsy Queen uh, was not one of the brands. And since I started collecting again in 2015, it, that's, it's just one of the products that I had never actually um, picked up a box of. And so um, this is the first first product or first hobby box that I've ever purchased. So um, we also get to start off um, with a Glassworks box topper. So every box has a box topper. It comes sealed, uh, exclusive to hobby boxes, it says. We'll go ahead and open this up first and see what our Glassworks box topper is. We'll see what it says here. And it is a Max Scherzer. Kind of a big old jumbo card here, Max Scherzer. Um, I don't see a serial number, but it is the Max Scherzer Glassworks box topper. So that's how we start things off. We'll set that off to the side. And we've got a hobby box here, which is, again, has two autos. Um, two autos per box, eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box. We've got three stacks here that we'll go through. Um, there are relics also randomly inclu included, as we talked about last time, a variety of variations with the Gypsy Queen logo, hatless variations, Jackie Robinson variations, um, a few variations of the variations, parallels, etc., We'll see what we end up with um, with this hobby box. First pack, we're starting off with an Aaron Judge. Again, if you haven't watched the other video, this is what the backs look like. And these are throwbacks to the old tobacco Gypsy Queen cards way back in the early 1900s. Um, and so that's what we end up with um, with this set. So we got Andrew Miller, Paul Blackburn, Matt Harvey again looking for the variations with the there's a, a team name swap there's a logo variation that you see a, a lady's face down here instead of the GQ a hatless variation a few other random fun things that we find um, Vince Velasquez there's also short prints uh, of veteran retired players um, that are also a little more challenging to find and Gene Segura. Um, so that's that's some of the stuff that you're after uh, with this product. Um, I, I kind of like the artistic feel of it. Um, it's kind of like photos turned into to paintings or something, you know, depending on how you want to describe it. I kind of enjoy that. Uh, John Gray in pack number two. Mark Reynolds. Tim Beckham. Alex Gordon. And here we've got an insert of Noah Syndergaard. This is or the Tarot of the Diamond insert set. Kind of a cool little insert set. Looks like a fortune teller cards here. We've got a Reese Hoskins rookie card. That's the first one of these that I've pulled. The blaster I opened last week did not have a Hoskins, so that's cool. We'll set that off to the side. Nelson Cruz and Justin Turner. All right, so two packs in. No, no uh, parallels or short prints yet at this point, but we did get um, an insert card. No autos either. Christian Yelich. Logan Morrison. Jacob deGrom. Tommy Pham. And we've got another insert. a um, One of the fortune teller inserts of, De of uh, Devers. So that's a nice little insert to get here. We'll set that one off to the side too. Jason Vargas, Sonny Gray, 
and Adrian Beltre. All right, on to the next pack. On to the next pack. We've got Jonathan Scope, Corey Seager, Ender Inciarte, Carson Fulmer of the White Sox, Mitch Haniger, Zhu Wei Lin, David Peralta, and Garrett Cole. All right, next pack up. I don't know if you guys opened much of this uh, product. I know there's uh, retail is available. Some people have said retail wasn't too bad this year. Like I said, the blaster box was what I got first, and then this is the first hobby box I was able to pick up. Uh, but Lorenzo Cain is next up. Garrett Richards. Anibal Sanchez. Brad Hand. Noah Syndergaard. Melky Cabrera. Aaron Nola. And Joey Gallo. Not, not much to speak of um, with those. Bazooka backs are another parallel, and I haven't actually looked at to see if I've gotten any of those. So let's take a, a quick look at the stack here now that I'm thinking about it to see if if any of what we've gotten so far has the bazooka back uh, parallel. They're not a variation. There is a there is a bazooka back of every card, whereas the variations typically only have um, a handful of, of players that have a variation. But nope, no bazooka backs yet either. All right, let's see what's next. Clint Frazier, uh, rookie for the Yankees. Miguel Cabrera. Tyler Glass now. Tanaka. Donaldson. And here we've got a backwards card. Uh, we'll see what that means. We'll flip it over. And it is one of the missing team name short prints. So Felix Jorge, missing team name, variation. We'll set that one off to the side. Brandon Belt and Brian Dozier. It seemed like with the retail boxes, the uh, variations and short prints were just sorted normally like every other card. But uh, with the hobby, it seems like um, there might be a different uh, order. They're, they're going to be backwards maybe if you get one of the short prints or variations. All right. We've got Brad Ziegler. Javi Baez of the Cubs. We'll set that one aside. Byron Buxton. Steven Souza. And another backwards card, Ted Williams. As you see here, this is card number 315, so this looks like this is probably a short print. And it is. It's one of the, the short prints that we've got here. Ted Williams, uh, one of the obviously retired, long since retired uh, legends and a short print. Uh, Walker Bueller, Brandon Nemo of the Mets, and Solarte now of the Blue Jays. And the last pack of the far right row, the bottom pack of the far right row, We've got Tim Anderson of the White Sox. Ichiro, J.A. Happ, Andleton Simmons, and another card here. We've got a serial number, as you can see right away. Um, there you go, you can see it now. Uh, Max Kepler serial numbered card to 50. We'll see what this one is. It is looks like the black and white variation number to 50. All right, that's a nice, nice card to get. Nice parallel, serial number parallel, Max Kepler. Um, hopefully he can have a strong season this year. We've got Justin Smoke, Max Scherzer, and James Paxton. All right, let's start on the middle row. Middle row of this hobby box. So far we have yet to see an auto. So that means we should have uh, a couple more autos here closing in since we have had none up to this point. Uh, Rick Porcello, Keon Broxton, Francisco Mejia. When I opened, I got this card in the blaster box and some uh, comments said, hey, that might be one of the, the, uh, the hatless variations or the no hat variations, no helmet variations, but unfortunately it's not. 
It's a standard card. Hector Neris, Jed Lowry, Scooter Jeanette, Alcides Escobar, and an Otani rookie. So that's my second Otani rookie. And that one is going to be for sale or for trade since I have one for the PC already. I'll set that one aside. Now, Otani is a, a big thing right now, but uh, based on the spring training he's had, he's looked like complete trash. His pitching has been terrible. His hitting has been terrible. Uh, we'll see if he's injured or what might be going on. Now, I heard rumors today of him being sent down to the minors to start the year, but definitely not living up to the hype through spring training. So uh, we'll see uh, what kind of value Otani uh, brings to product throughout the rest of 2018 because so far he's looked like garbage. Uh, Zach Cozart, Sean Manaya, Abazel Garcia, the White Sox, Justin Upton. This Justin Upton. I think this looks like it should be a variation, but I don't believe um, that it is the variation. Even though he's got a, a, a no hat on, um, it is the standard uh, the standard card. So don't be fooled by the Justin Upton there. Uh, Kevin Gosman, and here's our first auto. Not turn backwards, just right off the bat. Brett Phillips. Eh, you know, that could have been a better auto. Uh, <laughs> hard to get excited about a Brett Phillips auto, um, but that's who we've got here for our first auto of the box. Brett Phillips. Eh, that could have been better. Uh, Sandy Alcantara and AJ Pollock. So, one auto in. Not the best auto to get, but it is what it is. Brett Phillips, auto number one. Let's see what else we get. Dominic Smith. Feels like we've got some kind of insert. I think we've got another mini card in this pack. Uh, Jose Quintana, now of the Cubs. We've got Marco Estrada. Corey Knable. Andrew McCutcheon, no longer of the Pirates. And another fortune teller insert, this time of Ahmed Rosario. Those are kind of cool inserts. Uh, Luis Castillo and Mike Matuk. All right, next pack up. I kind of like, the set's growing on me. Um, the, the photos are, are growing on me. The, the kind of painted um, look is growing on me. Some people have complained about how they have a border um, here on one side, um, but not on the other. Um, I don't know that I mind that too much. It's, it's something a little bit different to me, so I don't mind it. Uh, Anthony Rizzo of the Cubs. Trevor Bauer. Will Myers. Kenley Jansen. And we've got a Deaver's... Um, another Deaver's insert, this time the Tarot with a Diamond insert. We've got Eddie Rosario and Nomar Mazar. Alright, next pack. If I can get it out of the wrapper here. Ugh. Miguel Sano. We've got Jose Ramirez. Daniel Megden, Buster Posey, Miguel Andujar, he's getting a lot of buzz this year, um, Bryce Harper, set that off to the side, AJ Jimenez, and Kyle Seeger. All right, next box up, we've got Carlos Gonzalez, Cole Calhoun, Mike Leak, Yuli Gariel, and another serial numbered card numbered to 250. We've got 199 and 250, Dexter Fowler, and it is one of the blue, blue parallels, it looks like here. All right, it's our second parallel of this box. Felipe Rivero, Denelson Lament, and Jordy Mercer. Next pack. Second to last pack of the middle row. We've got Jordan Zimmerman, Jake Lamb of the Diamondbacks, Alex Bregman. I think that's the first Bregman I pulled. We'll set that off to the side to add to the PC binder. Kevin Kiermeyer, Whit Merrifield, Eric Feedy, Ahmed Rosario, and Josh Reddick. 
So again, I think we've only gotten one of the base short prints of the retired players so far. We should have a couple more, or hopefully at least one more of those. We'll see um, what we end up with here. Sean Newcomb, Logan Forsyth, Chance Cisco rookie, Edwin Encarnacion, Jarrell Cotton, Elvis Andrews, Chris Archer, and Brian Anderson. Okay, so that was the last part pack of the middle row. We've got the far left row left. We'll see what we end up with in this one. Last pack, we should have one more auto out of this. Hopefully another short print, maybe another variation. We'll see what, it, what, what we get. Jose Urena. Jason Hayward. Odu Odubel Herrera. Cattell Marte. And another fortune teller insert, this time of Mr. Trout. That will also go in the PC, because that is a card I have not yet received yet. Ken Giles, Jarrett Parker, and Runet Odor. I'm assuming I haven't got any of these out. It seems like all the variations um, so far, and parallel cards even for that matter so far, have been in there backwards. The auto was the one card that was just facing forward like the rest. We'll see what we um, get here in these last few packs. Felix Jorge, Lucas Giolito, Starlin Castro, Victor Robles, another one of the better rookies to pull out of this, Billy Hamilton, Russell Martin, Anthony Rendon, and Austin Hedges. All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six packs to go. With one auto somewhere hidden in those packs. Homer Bailey, Ryan Healy, now of the Mariners, Travis Darno, Alex Colome, and here's another parallel. Here's the bazooka back. Here's what the bazooka backs look like. Kind of a neat card, and we'll see who it is. It's number 288, Jorge Alfaro. So Jorge Alfaro bazooka back um, parallel. Michael Franco. George Springer, and Hunter Pence. I kind of like those bazooka backs. It would be a difficult set to put together if we're going to try to put together a, a complete set of those um, parallels. Craig Allen, Kyle Schwarber, another cubby for the PC. Dansby Swanson, another guy that I'm a fan of that I'll put in the PC. Carlos Martinez of the Cardinals. I'll sell that as fast as I can in my dime box or quarter box. Ian Kinsler. We've got the Joker insert tarot card there. The SEL Puig, the Joker. Again, I kind of like those tarot cards. Uh, Matt Olson. And Domingo Santana. All right. Down to four packs. One of these last four packs should have our second auto. We'll see. Jorge Polanco. Craig Kimbrell. Zach Davies. Mike Zanino. Mookie Betts. Add that to the PC. We've got a Guriel upside down. This might be the hatless variation. It looks like a hatless variation of Guriel. I'm going to look real quick here um, online with the cap list. And just to confirm, because it sure looks like it should be the variation. And it is. It is the cap list variation of Guriel. So that's a cool little card. Um, those aren't real easy to get. So we'll put that off to the side. Hopefully that will help offset the little bit of the cost of this box. Uh, Jack Flaherty, Cardinal Rookie. And Andrew Kashner. You know, those capless, capless variations are not super easy to find. I was trying to look up the odds real quick. It looks like one in 121 hobby packs uh, for the capless variation. So that's one in what, five boxes? Four or five, somewhere between four and five boxes. So that is a good variation to hit. Very cool. 
Jackie Bradley Jr. Travis Shaw. We've got this is the third to last pack. We still have an auto to pull. Adam Jones. Luis Perdomo. And there's the second auto, Franklin Barreto. Another one that's eh, could be better. Yeah, Franklin Barreto and uh, Brett Phillips are the two autos in this uh, box. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's that hurts a little bit. But uh, no offense to all you Brett Phillips and Franklin Barreto fans out there. I know you guys would be dying to get this box. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, Didi Gregorius, Yo Mankata, and another Dexter Fowler. Which is uh, the second one, because the first one we got was the blue parallel. Two packs to go. Unless we get some kind of mystery superstar uh, surprise auto or something like that here. Uh, it's going to be a little disappointing on the auto end of things, but that's all right. Uh, D. Gordon, Luis Severino, Travis Janikowski, Salvador Perez, another fortune teller insert. This time it looks like Manny Mikado. Adam Duvall, Zach Granite, and Andrew Stevenson, a couple of rookies to end that pack. And the last pack of the box, the final pack, this hobby box starts off with Freddie Freeman. Mike Moustakis tricking everybody because he's wearing the 42 here, but this is not the Jackie Robinson parallel. This is just the base card of Moustakis. Parker Bridwell, Jeff Samarja, Matt Boyd, Robinson Cano. Oh, we've got another backwards card, some kind of parallel. It looks like a Manny Mikado. And it's another missing team name, which is one of the, I guess, uh, if anybody with that variation, that's a good one to get. And our final card of the box, a Cubby John Lester. So there it is. That is my first hobby box of Gypsy Queen. We had a couple pretty meh autos to pull here, non-serial numbered autos. Just kind of standard autos of Brett Phillips and Franklin Barreto. Yuck. We kind of had our standard um, inserts. We The parallels, uh, we, we did get a Yuri Gurriel um, hatless variation. That's a, probably one of the better, better hits of the box. We had a serial number parallel, Dexter Fowler. We had um, a black and white parallel of Max Kepler which isn't too bad. That was numbered to 50. Um, and we had, um, there's another team name, missing team, or a missing team name, um, ver parallel or variation in there. There it is, Felix Jorge, um, that we ended up with. But that's the excitement as far as what we ended up with in addition to the base and whatever. We only had one veteran short print, um, uh, out of that hobby box, um, and then a whole stack of, of standard base cards. So um, overall, oh, and don't forget the the Glassworks card of, of Max Scherzer. Again, that's a pretty cool card. I mean, nice and thick, um, refractor finish. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool Glassworks card here of Max Scherzer. But that is our Gypsy Queen hobby box break. Uh, check out more. I did an article and a write-up about 2018 Gypsy Queen on waxpackhero.com. Check it out. Um, I cover a lot of the newer releases as well as a lot of the releases from the 80s and 90s, as well as some other uh, posts about the hobby in general and the, the 2018 plan I have of buying two cases of eight different products. So check out waxpackhero.com. Uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Uh, check out the website. And again, I appreciate your views. Thanks a lot and uh, have a good one.